So recently I created a video called what happens if you owe the IRS more than $25,000. And um, some of you called in to Choice Tax Relief in response to that video because you owe more than $25,000. Uh, so I thought, well, hmm, okay, if that was helpful to some folks who owe more than $25,000, I'm going to create a video uh, talking about what happens if you owe more than $50,000 because I know that a lot of you out there owe the IRS more than $50,000. So um, in this video, I'm going to talk about a few things, uh, nine things in particular um, that happen if you owe the IRS more uh, than $50,000. Okay. Um, number one, let's get right into it. Number one, your tax debt may be considered by the IRS to be seriously delinquent and you may not be able to renew your passport. Uh, section 7345 of the tax code says, well, it's called revocation or denial of passport in case of certain tax delinquencies. Okay. And what does it mean by a seriously tax delinquent delinquency or a seriously delinquent tax debt? It means an assessed tax debt, which is greater than $50,000 with respect uh, to which <coughs> Uh, a notice of federal tax lien has been filed or a levy has been made. Okay, and what happens if your tax debt is seriously delinquent? So, it says <coughs> that the IRS certifies your tax debt as seriously delinquent to the Secretary of State. Secretary of State can deny, revoke, or limit your passport. Okay, and this is part of the FAST Act that was passed some years back. Basically, um, what happens, what typically happens, how people typically find out about this is they go to renew their passport, right? Passports last 10 years, they go to renew it and they get a letter from the State Department saying, hey, we can't renew your passport because the IRS has certified your seriously delinquent tax debt to us. So we can't renew it unless you fix your IRS problem within 90 days. And we've had all these cases for, for our clients. Um, there's some ways to kind of speed that up um, in some cases. But basically that's what's going on here. Uh, do they actually take your passport away? Yes, they can. I have seen it happen. Typically, no, though, typically it's just blocking the renewal, right? Or the application of a new passport if you don't have a passport yet. Now, that $50,000 figure in the code, it is adjusted, okay, um, typically annually. And the current amount is, is $59,000, right? And you can say it's adjusted yearly for inflation, right? So I kind of cheated here, right? Like, you know, okay, okay. So right now it's $59,000 for this year. Right, but hey, when it started, it was fifty thousand dollars. So if you owe fifty thousand dollars, you know, for some year in the past, you know, it could be seriously delinquent because at that year the threshold is fifty thousand dollars. But that threshold does increase every year. Uh, it is adjusted for inflation. Number two, you are once you owe the IRS more than fifty thousand dollars, you are no longer eligible for a streamlined installment agreement. Okay, a streamlined installment agreement, a special kind of installment agreement, uh, the IRS will agree to for individual taxpayers who owe an assessed balance of $50,000 or less. That does not uh, result in them having to give financial information to the IRS and will result in the IRS not filing uh, a notice of federal tax lien um, against them. Um, number three thing that will happen if you owe the IRS more than $50,000, unless you can show hardship to the IRS, you will likely have to pay the IRS at least $700 a month in a standard uh, installment agreement. Okay, now if you owe a lot more than $50,000, you're gonna owe, pay them a lot more than 700 bucks. But if you owe around $50,000, it's kind of on the nose. Um, you're looking at at least a $700 installment agreement payment to the IRS, unless you can show them that would cause you hardship and you qualify for some tax relief, some better tax relief option. Um, uh, number four. Uh, thing that will happen if uh, you owe the IRS at least $50,000 or more than $50,000 is the IRS may file a notice of federal tax lien against you. Um, so if you owe the IRS more than $50,000, they will very likely still file a notice of federal tax lien against you um, even if you enter into an installment agreement with them. Okay. Um, and once that happens, okay, once that notice of federal tax lien is filed against you and you want to get that notice of federal tax lien withdrawn, by the IRS, right? So you can go refinance your home and get all the proceeds or, you know, to make it easier for you to buy a house because mortgage lender does generally doesn't want to be in competition with the IRS on the asset securing the loan they made to you. Um, then you'll either have to pay off the balance, right? Or get um, your balance to $25,000 or below and then get into a 60 month installment agreement with them. 
or an installment agreement up to the date your tax debt falls off. If it's before 60 months, make three consecutive uh, direct uh, direct debit installment agreement payments under that installment agreement. Then you can petition the IRS uh, which to withdraw the notice of federal tax lien. Okay, if you, but I would say so you don't have to go to that option. I would say if you owe a little bit more than fifty, get your balance you know to fifty or below, then enter into the installment agreement um, to uh, avoid the filing of a notice of federal tax lien. Okay, um, number five thing that happens when you owe the IRS um, more than fifty thousand dollars is over two hundred and ninety dollars of interest is accruing on your IRS every month, on your IRS account every month, at least uh, at current interest rates. Um, obviously, if you owe a lot more than 50, it's gonna be a lot more than 290. I came up with 290 um, by taking $50,000 times 7%, which is the current IRS interest rate, although that's going up to 8% very soon. Watch my video, uh, link at the top of the screen and in the description below if you haven't seen that. But right now it's, it's 7%. So 50,000 times 7% is $3,500 of annual interest. Divide that by 12, 290 monthly. It's actually more than that because that was a simple interest formula and interest, uh, IRS interest actually compounds daily. Okay, so, but that's kind of a lot of interest every single month. Um, penalties. If you owe the IRS more than $50,000 and your penalties haven't maxed out yet, at least $250 of penalties are accruing on your IRS account every month. Um, similar thing to interest. If you owe a lot more than $50,000, it's gonna be a lot more than $250 of penalties. I came up with 250 bucks because uh, the IRS charges a failure to pay penalty of half a percent a month of the amount you owe. Uh, per month or part of a month. So $50,000 times half a percent is 250 bucks, right? The fair to pay penalty does max out at 25% uh, of your balance. Um, number seven, you, if you owe the IRS more than $50,000, you are not eligible for an in-business trust fund express installment agreement. Um, so if you owe the IRS more than $50,000 in business taxes, uh, you're not eligible for one of these special kind of business installment agreements for business taxpayers um, that don't require you to submit a financial statement or financial verification in order for the IRS to approve it. Okay, And in fact, you're not eligible for one of these uh, once you start owing the IRS more than $25,000 in business taxes. Okay. Um, number eight, if you owe more than $50,000 in payroll taxes, a revenue officer is more likely to be assigned to your case. Okay. In fact, back payroll taxes tend to attract revenue officers' attention uh, once they're delinquent uh, to the tune of, you know, just a little bit over $25,000, right? Or a couple quarters delinquent. Okay. But once you hit 50, you're probably going to get an RO assigned uh, for payroll um, if we're looking at payroll taxes here. Individual income taxes thresholds generally a little higher, like closer to $250,000, but for payroll, that threshold is lower. Uh, number nine, and this is a little speculative, but you are, in my opinion, once you owe the IRS more than $50,000, you are at greater risk of wage garnishments and bank levies, okay? This is speculative because it's not like the IRS has come out and said this, that, oh, if you owe more, more than 50, you're at greater risk of us taking levy action against you than if you owe under 50, right, or 50 or below. But given the things I just said, right, previously in this video, the IRS does appear to view $50,000 as kind of a threshold, right, for a taxpayer's debt, right? It's the threshold over which a taxpayer can no longer qualify for a streamlined installment agreement. It's the threshold over which the IRS will file notice of federal tax lien against a taxpayer, even if they're in an installment agreement on their debt. Um, it, it's the threshold over which, um, uh, it's the, the threshold for seriously delinquent tax debt, at least a statutory threshold, right? Yes, it is adjusted annually for inflation, about $50,000, right? Congress put that as kind of a threshold of tax debt to be considered serious to delinquent, at least when the law was written. So it, it is it is kind of a threshold here, right? Where um, the IRS kind of draws a line here at $50,000. And so it would stand to reason, it would make sense to me that folks who owe more than $50,000 are at more of a risk uh, for garnishment or levy action by the IRS than folks who owe $50,000 or less, okay? You might say, duh, the more you owe, the more risk. But what I'm saying is like, if you owe more than 50, I think your risk of levy action, uh, garnishment, et cetera, is far greater than someone who only owes, than someone who owes $40,000 to the IRS, right? Uh, 
that that gap is that risk increases even though you only more than only owe uh, a little bit over ten thousand dollars over the person who owes forty, then uh, the increased risk between forty and thirty. Okay, that that's what I'm saying, right? Um, it does appear to kind of be a line in the sand at which the IRS starts taking your debt uh, more seriously. Are you necessarily the highest? Is this the highest level of priority? No. There's other thresholds. The IRS has hundred thousand, two fifty, you know, and so on and so forth. But um, it, it does appear that fifty thousand dollars is one of these thresholds. So, what should you do if you owe the IRS more than fifty thousand dollars? Okay. Well, first thing I would do is see if you qualify for some kind of hardship-based resolution. Okay, offering compromise, current non-collectible status, partial payment of solemn agreement. I've made ample videos on this channel about these tax relief options. You can check out one of these videos where I go over several of them. Link at the top of the screen and uh, in the description below. In a nutshell, offer and compromise settlement. It's an agreement with the IRS to sell your tax debt for less than you owe. Partial payment of solemn agreement is an agreement with the government uh, to pay less than you owe over time, right? Until the tax debt falls off. Um, current non-collectible status. This is where this is a special status you can be placed in with the IRS, whereby you don't have to pay anything to the IRS, right? Although they can they can kick you out of CNC status if they think you're making more money, and they can also revisit PPI partial payment of solemn agreements as well. Okay, but in a nutshell. Three major tax relief options. I go over those and more uh, in the video that's linked to in the description below. Um, now, if you don't qualify for anything like that, and you're you're looking at probably just to pay the IRS in full what you owe them, uh, it might make sense for you to before you enter into that installment agreement, pay your balance down, pay your balance down to fifty thousand dollars or below to avoid the filing um, of a notice of federal tax lien, right, and then entering into the full payment um, installment agreement. So, I mean, obviously, this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg. Uh, there are, it can get a lot more complicated than this, right? That's why, um, you know, we, we do what we do. I formed a business around uh, figuring out the best things to do for taxpayers who owe the IRS and, and or their state. Uh, and that's why I started Choice Tax Relief. Um, we help folks who owe the IRS or their state more than $10,000 in back taxes uh, or who have several years of unfiled tax returns. You can book a free consultation at our website at choicetaxrelief.com. There's on the menu at the top, it says free consultation is one of the menu items. Or you can just fill out the form on our website, uh, or you can give us a call at 866-8000-TAX. That's 866-8000-829 uh, to reach us there. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, I have some other tax relief videos here on the left-hand side of your screen for your enjoyment and education, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.